Woke up this morning to a Cloudflare outage that is causing a massive disruption to a huge percentage of the internet. This should be a major wake up call for everybody about just how fragile the internet is. Just this year, we've had a Starlink outage. We have Amazon Web Services that went down and brought down a huge percentage of the internet as well. And it just goes to show that if you're relying on the internet and this infrastructure for your critical communications, you could end up in a complete communications outage. I've been saying for a long time, you need to get into ham radio, specifically HF ham radio, because if you wanna be able to communicate with just your own radio, your own antenna, your own battery and communicate worldwide, ham radio is really the only way to do that reliably. Now you can get started with a handheld ham radio like one of these, this is gonna give you basically the range of your local community and there are repeaters that work off grid that you can use with that too. But if you really wanna communicate worldwide, you need to get into HF ham radio and that's gonna require at least your level two general ham radio license. And you can do all this at hamradioprep.com. That's exactly why we created these courses and training materials. And thankfully, even during the internet outage, our mobile app for ham radio prep is still working. But the difference between ham radio and these other services, even satellite, is that it's direct radio to radio communications. So if I communicate on my HF ham radio, my signal is gonna leave my radio, it's gonna go through the atmosphere and go directly into the radio of the other person. You've probably seen like those push to talk walkie talkies that are advertised as global communications, communicate all around the world. Well, those are using the cell towers, right? They're just cellular walkie talkies. So if those cell towers go down, those cellular walkie talkies are actually gonna go down too. The only communication that's really gonna work worldwide in a complete outage is ham radio. And we don't know what's gonna happen in 2026. We've only seen the tip of the iceberg with the Cloudflare outage now, with the Starlink outage, with Amazon Web Services, but it's shown that the internet is fragile. I think there's big risks that something could happen that would cause a communication outage in 2026, especially everything that's happening with AI. We've also seen with natural disasters like Hurricane Helene, this can happen. So I would advise you get your ham radio license, learn how to use ham radio and get at least your level two general license so you can get on HF ham radio. And again, it's also a lot of fun. You're going to be learning a lot of things as you go through this process. But I think it is really important that people realize that ham radio is not just this old school thing that you don't need anymore. If you want to own your own communications and you want to be able to communicate no matter what in any sort of situation, ham radio is still really the only way that you can do that worldwide without paying a subscription, without relying on some cell towers or satellites that are owned by somebody else where you're relaying your signal because those services can go out as we've seen. So, Get your ham radio license and I'll hear you on the air soon.